Now I would like to call our fourth and last speaker, Dr. A.K. Muhyuddin, to deliver his speech on therapeutic angiogenesis by stem cell. Dr. A.K. Muhyuddin. Dear audience, Assalamu alaikum. Today my topic is therapeutic angiogenesis by stem cell, new hope for the critical lip ischemia. Peripheral artery disease is an important predictor of outcome of patients with diabetes and food ulceration. The incidence of severe peripheral artery disease is estimated to 5 to 10 per 10,000 per year in developed country. Critical ischemia is severe form of peripheral artery disease. The aim of the management of patients with critical ischemia are to relieve ischemic pain, heal ulcer, and prevention limb loss. Uh, revascularization of severe peripheral artery disease strongly influence of the rate of limb salvage. It is observed in previous study, the therapeutic effect of standard method of critical ischemia is partial. Almost one third of the patient are not eligible for standard revascularization procedure because of widespread or distally located arterial occlusion or high risk of comorbidity. Those patients who have a poor chance of improvement of critical ischemia when they are treated conservatively and therefore new therapeutic techniques such as stem cell therapy for the no option patient have been studied in this clinical trial. Study shows long term benefit of autologous stem cell on limb cells or in critical ischemia was compatible to repeated PTA. It was also observed greater wound healing and relief of pain after stem cell therapy with PTA despite patients with treated with stem cell therapy having significant worse engineering finding. Uh, critical ischemia is two type rest pain and tissue loss. This is a uh, critical limb ischemia lower limb. This is a critical limb ischemia upper limb. This is ischemia of upper and lower limb. Traditional treatment of peripheral artery disease include risk factor modification, exercise program, medical therapy, endovascular therapy, surgical procedure. Patient with critical ischemia may be the, not the candidate for surgical intervention because of severe medical comorbidity and non-reconstructable disease. Those patients are candidate for biological treatment, wound healing, and prevent amputation. Today, multipotent adult stem cell or progenitor cell have been identified almost all human organ. Those developed was huge implication for regenerative and therapeutic medicine. Research has identified the blood vessel wall was a source of stem cell or progenitor cell. Together with mesenchymal stem cell are responsible for new vascularization and angiogenesis. Stem cell is a master uh, building block of organ and tissue. Source of stem cell, mostly we use adult stem cell from bone marrow or fat. Fat is the most research part of the stem cell reservoir. Stem cell works by differentiation, paracan effect, secret a variety of local cytokine and growth factor that are immunomodulatory and tropic. Mesenchymal stem cell in ischemic tissue range of effect, inhibition of scar formation, stimulation of local progenitor cell to differentiate and induce angiogenesis. Angiogenesis is the growth of blood vessel from the existing vasculature. It is a continuous process throughout our lifespan. No metabolically active tissue in the body is more than a few hundred micrometer from the blood capillary. Uh, this is the cell, mural cell, and pericyte and periandrothelial cell who will help in angiogenesis. Uh, angiogenesis from mother vessel by intersusception and spouting. Our experience, total 20 patients we are treated in our sure cell medical Bangladesh Limited uh, by autologous stem cell, hyperbaric oxygen drive, and diet plan. Criteria of the patient we treated, amputee and diffuse or non external contralateral lesion, refused to undergo surgery or intervention, failed PTFEY graft bypass procedure, post reverse saphenous vein graft bypass procedure state with rest pain, critical ischemia with most distal occlusion, rest pain, deep foot infection and ulcer, post operative non healing wound. This is a uh, angiogram finding of. Uh, upper uh, upper limb uh, angiogram. This is a non structural uh, angiogram finding of lower limb. Outcome assessed by relief of symptom, breast pain, healing of the wound and ulcer, increase the local temperature, increase oxygen saturation, prevention of major amputation, satisfaction of the patient and the family. This is a case of peripheral arter uh, arterial disease involving both upper limb. Patient presented with breast pain in left ring finger, uh, and non-healing answer, uh, 
peripheral angiogram showed right and left uh, ulnar artery are um, uh, occluded 100% and digital uh, vessel of the ring finger is not visualized. After stem cell therapy, uh, pain is subsided and wound is healed. This is a case of peripheral vascular disease involving both upper and lower limb. Patient presented with rest pain and non-healing multiple ulcer in toe and finger. Uh, after stem cell therapy, uh, pain subsides and wound is healed. This is a case of diabetic patient with contralateral uh, bilony amputation present with, present with micro uh, and macrovasculopathy. After stem cell therapy, quality of the life improved. This is a case of peripheral vascular disease involving both lower limb. This is a case of uh, peripheral vascular disease involving both uh, lower limb with a uh, history of bypass procedure with non-healing wound in foot. This is a case of Barzer disease with history of lumbar sympathectomy with mid-foot uh, amputation with non-healing wound uh, after stem cell therapy, wound is healed. Our limitation, one patient underwent bilony amputation due to failure of bypass procedure and occlusion of the common femoral artery, uncontrolled diabetes, history of drug addiction, and history of GIT bleeding, and taking home message. Rest pain can be relieved at finger, toes, hand, and feet by stem cell therapy. Wound healing can be enhanced. Major amputation can be prevented in some selected cases where the standard procedure is not feasible. Quality of the life can be improved. Satisfaction of the patient and the family can be achieved without surgery or intervention. As hope never die, that is why stem cell therapy may be the blessing and hope for the patient suffering from critical ischemia, where we do not do anything more than waiting for amputation. Thank you, vascular surgeon Dr. Buzulgoni sir for his continuous support and supervise the study. Thank you, Dr. Ekin Mahirji, for, for your very informative presentation. Thank you, the presenters, for their nice presentation. In practice, in our country, the patients, those who are given for stem cell therapy, in my experience, many of the patients were advised by orthopedic surgeons for amputation. And they are lately and finally referred to vascular surgeons whether they can do anything or not. That is why we call them no option group of the patients. And uh, as Dr. Mohyuddin said, we tried and we give trial of over more than 20 patients. And our <coughs> observation was that we could reduce rest pain. We could heal the long-standing non-healing ulcers and we could prevent major amputation and as practicing vascular surgeon i do believe we can do something for them as the patient were advised by orthopedic surgeons for amputation it is our hope and it is a new year new avenue for us where we can do nothing more so both critical limb ischemia and non-salvageable uh, limbs and being addressed by uh, angiogenesis and stem cell therapy. And we hope we can do something better in next future. And Dr. A.K. Mohyuddin, and I request Dr. Abu Lejakuddus, sir, to give this uh, grace to Dr. A.K. Mohyuddin. Thank you.